uh, let Senator Cassidy go before the committee. Welcome. Thank you, Senator Murkowski, and thank you, Dr. Jewell, for your phone call the other day. Very gracious. Uh, we do have a vote. I'm going to ask one question and then submit the others for the record. Um, I'm told that, and obviously the last time we spoke, my concern was the budget chooses to take away dollars from the Gulf Coast states that are produced, and your reply was that's a federal resource and really beyond the control of the state. We made a case that no, the states disproportionately borne this. That said, I'm told that recently you stated that states in the Atlantic will have a chance to pull themselves out of the running for possible federal approval of offshore drilling. And that's, in that case, you're giving the states control over what in the Gulf Coast is stated to be a federally controlled interest without the states having any say so. So um, how can you, in a sense, reconcile the two? On the one hand, if I want the Atlantic and I don't want to develop, federal taxpayer be going with you because I have control. On the other hand, in the Gulf of Mexico, if, if I'm the people of Louisiana relying on those dollars to rebuild my coastline, sorry, we're the federal government and we have complete control and you have no state. I don't, I don't see how you reconcile those two. Senator, thanks for the question, and I appreciate your passion for the state of Louisiana. Let me give you a, a simple example, and that is Florida. Uh, Florida is in the Atlantic. It's also in the Gulf. Florida has made it very clear to our department uh, that they do not want to see drilling if in I the may. Gulf. No, let me just finish, if, if I may. Uh, and that is input in advance of our draft proposed plan for the five-year drilling plan. There are several states in the Atlantic that have said we'd like you to consider uh, a lease here, and there are several states that aren't. The Pacific states have said we don't want to be in the Pacific states other than Alaska, of course. Um, so we have worked to honor the interests of those states as we take limited resources and focus them on the areas where the states do want federal offshore leasing because of the economic, uh, and the economic activity it does drive to their state. So revenue sharing, as you talked about with GoMesa, is an element, uh, but there are many other economic uh, activities that occur on the shorelines by virtue of the federal offshore uh, oil and gas activities, and I think that is um, re resulting in some of the Atlantic states saying we'd like to be included. But there are many more bites at that apple on the Gulf, uh, Gulf uh, Thank uh, you. lease sales. But as I gather, therefore, you think, I think you just supported my contention. If you're going to say, well, listen, the states have the option to pull themselves out, and we recognize that they have an interest, and we're going to honor that they have an interest, et cetera, then in the case of the Gulf of Mexico, it is not as if we have an interest. Rather, we must do exactly what we are told. And so that seems, uh, I'm not sure it's reconciled any other way. Well, Senator, the, the point I'm making is that development of the Outer Continental Shelf, which is a federal resource, already supports the economies onshore for many of those states. Now, that is a different issue. And so development of the Outer Continental Shelf has borne some role in the, in the dissolution of Louisiana's coastline. That is actually a separate issue. The primary issue is that in this case you say the state can effectively control access and therefore revenue, access to the revenue associated with drilling in the Outer Continental Shelf, but in the case of the Gulf Coast states, you do not have control over this revenue because denying access to drilling in the OCS off these states is effectively denying access to the revenue. So, okay, you control the revenue on the behalf of the federal taxpayer. In these states, however, you have no control over that revenue. We consider it a federal dollar, and we're going to distribute it elsewhere. We've called votes, and I promised I would be short, but I do think that your answer supports my contention, that the state is the one which should have a role. You've established the precedent, really, in allowing them to deny the federal taxpayer access to the revenue derived thereof. But thank you very much. Senator, may I have just a very brief response? Uh, just want to say that I, I don't think that my comments are any different than what I've stated, that uh, the, the Gulf Coast states, with the exception of Florida, have said, we want you to continue to lease the Outer Continental Shelf, and we are, and we're doing it uh, twice a year. Uh, some states have said we do not want leasing, and they have been excluded from the plan. But the issue is not the lease, the issue is the revenue derived thereof. Mm -hmm. And so that's really what we're talking about with the Gomesa revenue sharing. Uh, and so that's where I think that you, in one case, allow the state to deny the federal taxpayer the revenue, and in the other state, you say, no, you cannot deny the federal taxpayer the revenue. 
And that seems to be the inconsistency, not the leasing per se. I do not believe I'm being inconsistent. Senator Cassidy, no, 